Mastering Law of Attraction through Lucid Dreaming. Hi, I'm Brandon Shaw, co-CEO of Down to Earth Comedy and Productions, and this is step six to how to master Law of Attraction through Lucid Dreaming. Now, I know this is two weeks now, so I hope you guys have been doing your moral inventories. So this will be the third week, third time you did this to check the progress of what you're doing. So I just want you to come, go to the comic section on the, on the YouTube channel, down the Earth Productions page, and it doesn't matter which lecture you comment on. I just want to see your progress from the first week you did moral inventory, the second and the third. So step six. Needs and wants. It's very important to know the difference between these two when you get to talking about mastering law of attraction to lucid dreaming. Now, it refers to the physical body. You know, all the lectures that I've gave so far is teaching them empowerment and how to focus on the self. These are very important in order to control your dreams and manifest. So that way you can have that law of attraction to have that strong visualization. So you can always see that in your mind, what you're creating in your dreams. So when you awake in life with physical reality, you will see these things and you'll know to follow it because you'll make your own map, your own instructions, your own guide. So going back to needs and wants. It kind of ties in with step three with using obligation communication. But with these two words in particular though, we need to know the difference between the needs and the wants. Now, people are always saying things that they need, but a lot of times these things are physical, which means they're lifeless, they're limited, there's no life in it. But for example, uh, I need a car, uh, I need those new J's, you know, I, I need that uh, chain and things like that. I've seen Lil Wayne wearing it. All these, they, these, these are not needs. Your body doesn't need that. You just want those things. But when you tell yourself you need, you put a one in the need mode. See, your brain knows that automatically, that when you mention need, then you're lacking that nutrients, water, sunlight. Those are the needs for the body to maintain. Those are very important. But when you get the using wants as a need, it puts your brain in that type of mode, survival mode. So once again, you're causing a friction. <clears throat> And I drew this line right here so I can tell you the needs. Like I said before, water, sunlight, nutrients. These are the needs for the body to maintain. Now, there was a guy named Maslow. He came up with a pyramid, hierarchy of needs. Number one of those needs was food, watcher, and shelter. Second, safe, safety and security is number two. Number three, healthy relationships. Number four, work on your goals. And number five, self-actualization. Now, we are around people all the time. And the type of people you're around, remember, a reflection of you. <laughs> Always keep that in mind. So when you're around certain individuals that say that they're struggling with safety and security, they're on number two of Maslow's hierarchy of needs to the pyramid. But you're number four, you're working on goals. So this person is struggling with his own safety and security. They will bring you down. And who fault is that? Once again, like step one, more limited, you gotta hold yourself accountable. You don't have to be around certain people or things, especially when they lack in this right here. Food, water, self, the safety and security. And being with healthy relationships is number three. It's very important to have healthy relationships with people because we in the physical reality. The reason why unifying with other human beings are important because it makes you as an individual more flexible. You're able to do more things. So if you're trying to do a hundred things at once, someone comes along, now those hundred things you might have to do 75 more people come along and work as one big unit. And that's how a lot of things get done. <laughs> the body's not going through harm, no stress. 
You know, because our bodies are taking hits every day. But getting back to needs and wants. <clears throat> uh, Kanye West said online on, uh, on his first album of the song, uh, When It All Falls Down, he said they made us <laughs> love they, uh, no, he said uh, they made us love they wealth and hate ourselves. We practice some self-hatred because of these wants. And these are some of the things that we want. You know, like I said, we want name brand clothes. And there's a lot of things that we want. You know, that our physical body doesn't need. Now, we want fast food. Want alcohol. When a person having a hard day, a lot of times they say they need the alcohol. Man, I, I need me a drink. Whew. These kids are tired of getting on my nerves. And we put, like I said, you get in that need mode. You know, the way your brain works, you're telling it to act as if it's one of these. And what happens? You overconsume. <laughs> you overdrink. And going back to well, uh, step two, when I was talking about controlling your emotions, when we talk about subconscious. It becomes a multitude of habit. Now you're making a habit of saying things like this as a need. And getting back to what I've been saying in all these lectures, you cannot serve two masters. You will love one, you despise the other. In the physical reality where you're limited, we have to deal with duality. That's the physical law in this reality. It's the opposite. Because you can't do both. So when you're walking around here bragging about, oh, you know, I got J's on my feet, I got the Gucci, I got the Louis Vuitton, all these things. But these things are physical. They're lifeless. But yet, you're loving that more than yourself. It may not seem like that, but the actions are showing it. Because what are you doing to maintain those things? What are you doing to buy those things? It costs money. You know, people lie, steal, cheat, mean, work extra hours. Putting this in harm's way, because this is getting neglected. All just, all just so you can cover it up, just to say like I got this and you don't have that. And this is why, like I said, we're talking about law of attraction here. You know how many negativity things you attract to your way. People will despise you. People will try to rob you. Try to take something that's that's yours because they've been conditioned to believe that they need it. Jordan's on your feet. The body has no use for that. If you say that you want those things, and there's nothing like wanting these things. Because it's a want. Because when you use the word, I want something, what you're telling your brain is, is not something that my physical body requires in order to operate. But when you're saying need, now it's causing that friction. And you will see that friction Reflect out here in the physical reality. <laughs> you know, you're thinking everybody, you know what I'm saying, they're so big on, not everybody, but you know people I'm talking about is very materialistic. They think because they're having a Lamborghini or a fast car, you know, even with women, you know. And I'm not trying to, you know, insult the ladies and everything, but the ones with the weave, the fake nails, the implants, all those things are practicing self-hatred. These are facts. But yet you claim to have faith in the God and Jesus as your Savior. But are you reading the book? Jesus had none of those things. And this is, this is not about religion. I'm getting to the point of causing this confusion. Because guess what? You're saying you serve one thing, but you're doing another thing. And there's people out here that can see that. And like I said before, if you self harming yourself, it reflects. So now people are trying to harm you. Or are you trying to harm others because of that reflection? You don't need these things. You don't need fast food. Discipline. We're talking about step five. Control yourself. You don't need this. You don't need alcohol. A lot of sunlight and energy is what the body's required to operate. I rarely see people stunting when it comes to that. <laughs> Who well, you know stunning like I got my water, you know, I got this sunlight. But see, when you're celebrating them things 
that are physical, they came out of what? The mind. They come out the mind. It begins in the mind. It manifests into this physical reality. You know, let me give you an example. Let's take a car for example. Why is it we as humans will put what the car requires in order to operate? How many people you know they'll put gas in the gas tank? They're not putting apple juice in there. They're not putting oil. They're not putting these things in there. They make sure the car is operated the way. Why don't you take that energy and knowledge and do that to this right here? Why is that so difficult for us as humans to do? Ask yourself that. Let it sit in your mind. Analyze. I repeat, analyze that. That's very critical. Because the, the people who are materialistic, who put these wants into a need mentality, they'll think that they're better than you because they have more things that are lifeless. That's showing a lot about the character. In order to master the law of attraction through lucid dreaming, that can cause a friction. Because like I said before, when I get to teaching you guys about the dreams and how to be able to control your dreams, you want to fly, walk on water, juggle fireballs, what, your imagination and do it all. You have to have your mindset of knowing the difference between the need and the want. Because in my dreams, I know what I want. But see, when you're in the dream, you're thinking about things that you need to do. In unlimited reality, that all the needs are met. <laughs> it's at your command. And because of your command, you have to be conscious of that command. Because if you're not unconscious, guess what's running? Your subconscious. So your subconscious habits that you do in the physical reality, they're going to manifest in your unlimited reality. Because you're not consciously aware of what you're doing. So now, you want to fly. And it's very challenging to do. Let's say you want to be a, you want to be a model. You know, in a lucid dream, you can create all that. You can get the crowd, wear any type of dress, do the walk, all that. But because of this thing, because you're struggling between knowing the difference between a need and a want, it'll be difficult to manifest that. And like I said, the more nutrients, sunlight. The more energy you have in your physical, you will last longer in your lucid dreams. So by the time that you tune back into the physical reality, all those validations, you have that. You won't need them on the outside. Let me repeat. You won't have to rely on the outside to validate who you are. Because that's why a lot of people wear these things. They want these physical things. And it's a backwards mentality. The human beings, we are the creators. We create everything that's physical through our mind using logic and emotion. The physical objects don't operate by itself. That car is not going to run on itself. If I put my credit card right here, it's not going to go to the store and spend itself. Because we place value on that. So we need to start valuing each other. Start loving each other. Because the human being is the value, not the physical object. It's got to the point, and it's been going on for a long time in history, where we end up loving the physical object, and duality because of that, we're using a human being. And so now, a lot of people want to be manipulative. That's why it's a system created out here that's causing oppression. Because of that mentality right there. But using logic, because logic is so vast, that now we get to the point where you love all the physical things, but you. But the opposite is going to happen is you're going to use people. <laughs> but see, when you love human beings, use the physical objects. <laughs> use your car to get the point A to point B. Shoes are shoes. Use them. I mean, there's nothing wrong with wearing shoes that you like. What kind of favorite designer you are. What comes to issue is when you're acting as if you're better than someone because you have these things. And you never even manifested. You don't know how to design shoes. You didn't put it together. You didn't make that Louis Vuitton purse. <laughs> but yet, because of the self-hatred. And that self-hatred will reflect in your dreams. It's wonder why people have nightmares. Because of those fears. And what are these fears are? Fear of not getting attention. Fear of being lonely. Fear of nobody loving me. Fear of not having no control. 
So we try to get these things to validate for those empty voids. Because we buy those clothes, we buy these shoes, we buy this jewelry. All these things for that feeling. When we can just choose to feel that way. Because all those things bring happiness. And you want to match the law of attraction through lucid dreaming. You will want to be in a happy state of mind. A peaceful bliss. That's why I met with minds. Because in my lucid dreams, I'm happy. Any scenario I can create. That's why what you see what I'm doing now, I'm slowly manifesting. I started this business a year and a half ago. If you go to the YouTube channel, go to Down Earth Productions, you will see the first video I put out was a music video called I'm In There. It was one year ago. Then I put a second video called Be A Free 10 months ago. You're going to see the time start doing this. You know why? Because I manifested it in my unlimited reality, in my lucid dreams. <laughs> see, in my lucid dreams, I've done all type of videos. In my lucid dreams, I've done songs with Tupac, Prodigy, Biggie, Aaliyah, Whitney Houston, Barry White. <laughs> a lot of my lyrics are coming from the unlimited reality. Because I can say, hey Biggie, spit a verse. Okay, I'm going to take that verse. Me and Wake in life. Ain't nobody heard it down here in the physical. Now, everybody like, Brent, that's crazy. No, it's not crazy. You call me crazy because you ain't thinking. Things that are unknown to you, you want to label it crazy. No, it's not crazy. It's reality. Unlimited reality. You bring it down to the manifestation of the physical. And then when you get to the physical, you can manifest it again. Whether you can see. Once again, doing this because knowing the needs and the wants. Because my life is complete because my needs are met. How many times have we seen people be miserable all because they didn't have something? That was a want. You have, for example, you have people robbing people for J's. And they have shoes on their feet. <laughs> Name me a story have you ever heard of a man robbing somebody barefooted for their Jordans? I'll wait. I want you to post that on the comments if you have. I want to know that story. They got shoes on their feet, but yeah, they want to take somebody else's shoes just because they have a logo on it. That's self-hate. Stop practicing self-hate. That's why I said in the last, that's step five. I'm sorry, step four. Get rid of your conditioned beliefs. You don't need these things. You don't need to celebrate holidays. How many times people feel like, oh, it's Christmas time, man. I just saved all this money. Now I got to go spend it. Once again, obligation. You're not obligated. So that's what you want to do. That's not what you need to do. Because if you don't, if you don't have no water, you ain't eating the right nutrients, the energy to keep this body charged up. You ain't receiving that sunlight. Ain't none of your wants gonna ever happen. Period. Know the difference between the need and the want. Because how you communicate these things, your body will react and feel differently. Compared to, I want that diamond necklace. I need that diamond necklace. Because you put that need in there, now you, you trying to do whatever it takes. Which means you ain't being patient. <laughs> you ain't sacrificing. You ain't being disciplined. You're not looking at your negatives. Your character flaws. Now you get all emotional because you see other people with that diamond necklace. And now, well, it's just easier for me just to take it from somebody than to go ahead and think, how can I get that? How can I save up the money? What work can I do without having to affect others or affecting myself? That's too much work <laughs> because of the lack of that discipline. It all started because you're, you're making these wants a need. It causes delusion. But you don't need that diamond necklace. Because you say if you want it, now you can want something real bad. Because you're, you're a creator, manifest it. The universe is your inventory, it's at your disposal. And I'm going to end this uh, lecture off with that. Okay? Step six of how to master law of attraction through lucid dreaming. Know the difference between needs and know the difference between wants. Step 7 coming out Wednesday. Peace. Mastering Law of Attraction through Lucid Dreaming.